onto the end of a J bolt. When you're putting a lashing kit on a chimney, you will first buy a thing called a poly kit. In a poly kit, you've got your J bolt, your corner plate, and your lashing cable that goes around the chimney. The thing is, you have to connect your lashing kit to your J bolt. This is one I prepared earlier, so in other words, J bolt goes like that. I'm going to show you actually how to do this bit today, connecting, uh, or basically doing the splice onto the J bolt. So the first thing is, is you get the J bolt. You then unwrap your lashing wire, unwind it. We're now going to try and connect this, splicing it to the J bolt. So basically, I don't know, about eight inches back from the end of the cable. I now turn this twice around the J bolt. Turn the J bolt that way. And I've now got the cable. I run the cable along so it's like that. You'll find in the uh, lashing kit there are seven braids in the cable. So what we actually do is just unwind one of the cables. I'm oh, sorry. One of the threads. And we wrap this around both cables. First of all, in a clockwork direction. Making sure we don't over wind to there. We then take off the next strand and we go in the opposite direction. So if we went that way, we now go that way. See it's going in quite neatly. And to go round, that's where we got to. We now get the same strand, next strand, and we go the opposite way to the last strand. So we're now going that way, turning it, tough fingers for this job, get to there, go to the next strand, Opposite way now, so it's back this way. Wrapping it around. Three strands left. Separate the strands. There we go. So now go the opposite way again. last two strands here again we go that way opposite way to the last one and the last but not least we go that way opposite way we then get a pair of pliers And we just neatly put these around, tuck them back. If you get one of those in your fingers, you will know about it. And you see, back like that. Same with that one. Same with that one. And the end one. 
Right. So you're now left with the splicing and there's no way that that will pull off there when you put that around the chimney. Thank you for watching. Hope it helps you.